Hello scale modelers. I know that uh, issue 53 opening for that was uh, yeah, it wasn't really what I normally do. I was just so excited that uh, uh, that I could start uh, the uh, R2 build again. All right, but uh, this week we have uh, issue 54 of the Build Your Own Star Wars R2-D2. And right here, fitting the dome panels and left leg parts inside Star Wars all over the place. Sure. I guess they were all over the place. And droid directory support droids. Ooh, okay. And I go knocking the camera. Alright, so the first thing it wants us to do um, are the three panels. But uh, here we go. Wheel support in dome panels. The parts provided this time include three identical panels for R2-D2's dome, which are stuck in place in the same way as before. You also have a metal mounting plate and bearing which are fitted to his left foot to support the side of the drive wheel. Ew. Fun fun, fun 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 fun. Okay, so fitting the dome panels. Alright, and then we have the parts for this week. I like how these bags really open. I don't have to cut into them like I do the uh, X-Wing. Alright, take these out. And there's a bearing. Let's put that right there on that. And then one, two, and three panels. And two long strips of double-sided tape. Which luckily I have a pair of scissors up here, so that way I can cut it to the length I need it. Alright, as in stage 51, the blue panels are stuck inside the holes in R2-D2's dome. But this time, all three go side by side on two strips of tape. Okay, so maybe I don't need to worry about cutting them. Uh, I do believe in someone else's video, they did cut them down. And there we go, knocking the camera again. I don't remember whose it was, but... Alrighty. Alright, so I still got my dome in its uh, shipper right here, so just so that way I uh, spent uh, less time um, putting my fingerprints all over it. And uh, so that way it didn't like, uh, you know, deform or anything. So. All right, yeah, so let me just stick this down. Let's hope this hope this ends up going as good as the first time around, but you never know because who knows if these pieces of tape are as long as you actually need them to be. Which I need to move it over a little bit. Okay, and now for the bottom one. I'm sorry if uh, this isn't completely getting caught on the camera. Oh, I need to move that over a little bit. 
I'm going to find out if I need to move it over. Oh, I need to move that over a lot a bit. Second one is shorter than the first one. Can't tell by how much. Alright, you see? See, the, the one I put on the top basically goes all the way over, and this is getting shorted by at least an eighth of an inch on either side on the bottom. Good thing it actually, these will actually stay in place when all the uh, dome pieces get put together. So it's going to be held in by more than just two-sided tape. Can't seem to grab that. And no, uh, if you're wondering, I am not using the uh, pointed end or sharp end for this. That way I'm not cutting into the tape. Let's see, and that was bringing up the tape right there. That's bringing up the tape too. Okay, try the fingernail. on it all right part number goes up so DP 12 all right let's see about doing this this way just like I did the last time I'll maybe do it like that all right, just so I can make sure that everything goes in the way that it's supposed to lined up and whatnot of course there are going to be some slight gaps around the outsides but other than that Those three dome panels are in look at that at some point I'll just have to go with like a cleaning cloth like a microfiber cleaning cloth or what or, or I need some uh, cleaner to get the oils off of those spots but there we go that is uh, done for the dome and believe it or not that is actually eight steps. Okay, so uh, fitting. The left wheel. Yep. Which, that's a man down right there. Um, okay, well there's that portion of that. Okay, there's the left wheel. Which, uh, let me look at my box of tricks to see if the, uh, to 
there's any other pieces in there. Because I should have... Yep, okay. So, there's the other bearing, and there's the axle. Okay, so we got all the parts that we're going to need for this. Oh, it's right there. Okay, never mind. All right, so fitting the left wheel. As with R2-D2's right leg, the second drive wheel is supported by a rigid metal framework and spins on inner and outer bearings. All right. Okay, so... Take the leg assembly from stage 49, the axle and bearings from stage 49, the wheel from stage 50, the plate and bearing from this stage, and four 2 times 4 millimeter silver screws. Alright, so that should be in the box of tricks. Okay, so 2 times 4 mil, which these should be the Actually, those might be 6 mil. And I don't have anything up here to measure, I don't believe. Alright, well, hopefully those are the right ones. Well, I did get them from the spot that says silver 4mm fixing screws. So, should be good. Alright, so. We're just going to... Oh, that's going in the wrong direction. Okay, so put that in here like that. And bearing goes in there like that. And we put that over the top of that right there. Then we take the other bearing, put that over that side, and then take the cap right there and then we put that over that like that all right and then we the the screws just go into this this these two these two screws over here on this side and then those two on that side all right So far, I have not tightened them down all the way, so just want to make sure I actually get them all in before I do any actual complete tight, uh, tight tightening them down. So, everything that we do for this issue now the only thing is is that this bearing can still probably pop out because uh, nothing's keeping this in place except friction that's the only thing that's keeping that bearing in place right now is friction all right 
So that is all we do for issue 54 right there. And in 55, we get the motor. And then we get fixing screws, which there, tend, there seems to be a lot of fixing screws for that. Okay. All right, so until uh, we do issue 55, as always, thanks for watching Brian's Builds.